according to IGN, there's going to be a new Battlefield that's going to be coming out at some point, potentially next year. Vin Zampella, who is the overseer of the Battlefield franchise, he's also the co-founder of Respawn and Infinity War, talked to IGN uh, exclusively about the next title. And they said that at some point in 2025, they're going to be doing some sort of beta or some sort of maybe closed beta where the people, the fans can actually get their hands on the game, play it a little bit and give their thoughts back. Because Vince Ampella said that one of the main things that they want to do with this Battlefield game is take the advice or the criticism that the fans are willing to give. They know that Battlefield 2042 was a failure in terms of what they wanted to deliver, you know, with the specialists, with the 128 player map. It was too big, too out there, and it basically fell short of all expectations. Now, Battlefield has been on a sort of I want to say decline, I want to say maybe stagnated is the best word to describe the Battlefield franchise. At some point, and Zampella acknowledges this in his interview with IGN, that between Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, it was really given Call of Duty a run for its money, where it was more modern and it was tackling a more current setting. Uh, with Battlefield 2042, they went into the future. And then with Battlefield 1, they went back to World War 1. So he acknowledges that their best years or their best time was when they were concentrating on modern settings and because of that he wants to return battlefield to that and that has been confirmed so the next battlefield game will be in modern times where exactly is the game going to take place we don't know but with the concept art that we have here it looks like it could be some place in europe potentially or maybe it could be multiple locations now one of the things that interested me the most is that, that vincent pella said that he wanted to return to the basics and to me the basics mean everything that you did before that that worked and he kind of hit the points on everything that maybe most fans want to hear but one thing in particular that he did not talk about on the article or anywhere else that i'm looking for information was campaign campaign to me is one of the biggest factors to even consider buying a battlefield or buy a call of duty like if a call of duty comes out and it doesn't have a campaign then i don't know that i want to buy it because i'm not just here for online play and does it look like battlefield has transitioned to only online play to only warzone type of content type of game and if it did then i don't know that it's ever going to be able to return to basics i don't know that it's ever going to return to what fans loved about the series because yes you need to have an engaging multiplayer that can compete with call of duty uh because that's who you really want to compete against you know whether you like them or hate them call of duty every year is delivering on something and they're making sales and they're working battlefield needs to deliver on a multiplayer but it also needs to deliver on a campaign because whatever you think about ea and how trash they have been over the last few years you need to have another company another studio that is making triple a quote unquote triple a games that can compete and if battlefield is that triple a shooter military shooter and it can compete with call of duty and it has the money the backing to fund it the history to fund it to give us another good campaign i'd love that i'd love to have a battlefield that is similar to a modern warfare not in terms of story because we know how that has been over the last couple of years but in terms of the modern times let's get a game set somewhere in the 2020s where you are some sort of special force guy or some sort of military branch and you're tackling a villain a terror there is something sort like that in a campaign but it's battlefield i'd love to do that i'd love to see that i'd love to see how they would tackle that you know i want battlefield to have a good powerful campaign and vince sampella didn't talk about a campaign at all for this uh, battlefield but it's also very early it's just an announcement we only have a concept art to go with the announcement so yes there could still be a campaign i'm hoping that there is because if it does have a campaign my excitement level is through the roof if it does not have a campaign i almost don't even care for it